that to the baseline. And so depending on that, then now we know how much the user has had to drink and we're going to split that from a range of one to 10. So that's what this switch statement does. It's just going to um, take the, how far we were away from the baseline. So let's say the baseline reading of the alcohol sensor was 300 and now the highest value was 800. So that means we're 500 away. We're going to split that up from a range of one to 10. So zero means no drinks. One is, is also no drinks. Two is few drinks, and then just moving on, you get the idea, the idea here. Um, the uh, eight and nine are drunk. And so as we go into each of these, let's just pick one, then we're going to clear the LCD screen. We're going to tell the user, depending on which character, um, what range they're in. So here we'd say, okay, you're in range eight. And then we're going to play the audio file that corresponds to drunk for that character that was selected earlier, hence the case 0, 1, 2, and 3, right? So this is depending on which character. So that is that. And then we, again, at the end, we display the results. And then we basically start over. And so the rest of the code is the special functions. So again, these are the extra three buttons that are um, part of the breathalyzer. And those are to do whatever you want. If you want to keep the name that tune game, um, feel free. Again, you just need to supply your own MP3s. So this is the code for name that tune. So if the first button was pressed, then um, and the per first button is yellow. Then we go into name that tune. So if you hit the yellow button. And then these, again, statements correspond to which one you picked. And it's actually going to pick these based on a random number generator. So you don't pick the same songs in the same order every time. So it'll just play the file and then it'll wait a bit and then it'll show on the screen the name of the song. And then if you remember the progmem variables that we talked about before, these are the numbers. So if you scroll all the way up to the top, let's just go here real quick. Okay, so all the way up here, these are all the variables. So uh, I forgot which one we're looking at, but let's say we're looking at 138 then you can go up here and you know 138 corresponds to this one. So that's what all that means. Let's go back down. Okay, so that was the, the name that tune. And if I keep going, the next one is name that movie. Pretty much exactly the same thing. Again, you supply the MP3 files. And then lastly, for the third button, which is the blue button, the name that movie was the green button. This is the last button, the blue button. That just plays in the sample code, uh, just a beer drinking song. And again, this you can do whatever you want. So that's, uh, that's it for the code walkthrough. When you're done um, with your code, just like any other Arduino program, you want to compile it. And uh, if you didn't have any errors, then it's going to successfully compile here just in a few seconds. Okay, so we compiled it, and then actually let me now plug in my Arduino to my USB port, and then we can download it. Okay, so I just plugged the uh, breathalyzer into the USB port. So now if I go over here, I, I see my port. I'm on COM7. The board you want is the 328, and then just hit upload. That'll take a little bit. So we'll wait. We'll just wait here a few seconds for it to upload. Okay, so while it's uploading here, you can see we're actually using up almost all of the, um, the flash memory. So we get a max of 32K, and you can see we're pretty close to the limit. And again, that's mainly because of the name that tune game. If you're not using that, you could delete those to save some space if you wanted to add some other stuff, for example. Okay, so it says done uploading. We're good to go. You got the new program uh, uploaded to your talking breathalyzer, and, and that's pretty much all there is to it.